Television's bringing the images and ideas of an emerging global culture to traditional societies. And that's already having an impact on the power balance between the sexes everywhere. People see a very alien world. Much of it is foreign. It's about places people have never been and will never go to. But people are avid to learn just how un-Islamic the stories can be. One incident was caused by television. Four young girls decided to escape from the village and go to Cairo and become TV stars. They were, of course, brought back summarily. I mean, they didn't get very far. Um, but this had a great impact on the village that television can be subversive. Not this year, not this decade, but patriarchy is slowly collapsing. Even though male hierarchy and privilege still predominate everywhere. Even though every country in the world is still militarized. After 5,000 years, patriarchy is not just in our institutions, it's in our heads. But it is not in our genes. The problem is not human nature. It's that mass societies are still trapped inside the ancient machine they built thousands of years ago to deal with the problems of thousands of years ago. The machine called patriarchy was the only way to run an early mass society. It was refined into both a killing machine and a breeding machine as the early civilizations started fighting one another. And we conquered the whole planet with it thousands of years ago. But now our weapons have become so destructive that we can no longer afford to fight major wars. And we don't actually have to live in patriarchal dictatorships anymore. Mass communications mean that we can be democratic. Patriarchy no longer makes sense as an institution. I think we have built enormous monuments to man's domination. There was a photograph of all the new members of Congress. We were all lined up on the steps. And I was on the top step and uh, ready to have this photograph taken. And two of the new members, two white males, just as the time the photograph went, they stood in front of me. And I am lost. It's as if I'm not there. It's sort of symbolic. There is no me. And uh, I think I have to learn somehow to be able to move that aside and say, I'm here too. Photographs like this may one day seem as bizarre as those old pictures of the Soviet leaders lined up on top of Lenin's tomb. And it will be as normal for women to hold power as it is for men to do the dishes. Let's see, tomorrow we have NARAL. Nike, the Nike. Gay and Lesbian Rights Coalition. That's right. Uh, the, uh, Somebody that bought something uh, a dinner with you at an auction. That's right, I have to take them to dinner. Mm -hmm. We stand amongst night. Basically, and... what you do is you eat and drink in this job. That's no, no, no. You try to avoid both the eating and the drinking, but you look like you're eating and drinking. All right, now I think we're ready. All right, good night. Good night. Good night. I think I have some passion. Good night. There's no golden age coming, no happy ever afters, but patriarchy is in retreat in every front. And the vital front is right here, where men and women are changing the most fundamental human partnership. The process is often confusing and painful, but we are changing it, and that's a good reason to be hopeful about the human race. If we can achieve equality between the sexes, then the other big problems like war and nationalism and north-south are not insoluble either. And a century from now, people may have to explain to their kids about patriarchy the way we have to explain about slavery. And wouldn't that be nice? <laughs>